Hello and welcome to your 77th SQL Server tutorial. My name is Johnny DeLuca and tonight I want to show you how to perform a differential backup using SQL Server Management Studio as well as how to do the same thing by executing a T-SQL script. Okay, this tutorial is going to be very, very similar to the last tutorial I did on full backups. So there won't be much difference, just a little. Anyways, go ahead and connect to an instance of SQL Server and then once you are there, scan your databases folder and once again, we're going to right click AdventureWorks 2012. Again, we're going to task. Again, we are going to backup. Now from here, we're going to select differential instead of full and notice the name changed from full to differential. This Backup set default name is fine. Describe it as you want. As I noted in the last tutorial, having it set to zero uh, just means it will never expire. And we can see here is the destination that it backs up to by default, which is basically where we want it to go. But just to show you, okay, we're going to hit remove, then we're going to hit add. And then click this ellipsis button and it shows exactly where we're going here. And that was for the full backup we just did. So what we're going to want to do is call this AdventureWorks 2012 diff backup. So dot back. AdventureWorks 2012 did backups. So <laughs> There we go. Get backups dot back. Okay. Okay. Now click OK to go ahead and execute it. The backup of database AdventureWorks 2012 completed successfully. You now know how to create a backup, a differential backup using Management Studio. Okay, cool. Now to Execute a T-SQL script is real easy. It's just like this is what we did to a full backup. Uh, and then to perform the differential, you would just type this code, open up a new query window in Management Studio, type in the following code there, and hit Execute, and you're good to go. And the primary difference, as I noted here, is the inclusion of the differential keyword with the with clause. So, you're now a rock star when it comes to performing a differential backup using SQL Server Management Studio or by executing a T-SQL script. Uh, thank you for watching this and I'll see you in my next tutorial. Actually, I forgot I wanted to talk to you about the differences between differential backups and full backups. They're slightly different. Uh, over time, the typical database grows and so does the backup file. Therefore, in most cases, it's going to be impractical to take full database backups throughout the day. This is primarily because the larger the database, the more space the backup file will require and the longer it will take to perform the backup. In addition, the backups could potentially affect performance. As a result, SQL Server allows you to perform incremental backups or differential backups in SQL Server terminology. Differential backups are smaller than full backups because they capture only what has changed in the database since the last full backup. For this reason alone, it's a great idea to consider including them as a part of your backup strategy for large databases. A large database that does not change much will generate very small differential backups. Moreover, instead of taking a full backup several times a day to protect against data loss, you can take a differential backup, which in most cases is faster and requires less space. And to illustrate this, let's assume that a full backup was taken at, say, midnight. And then every four hours following the full backup, differential backups were taken. In the event of a disaster, you could restore the full backup and then the differential backup that was taken prior to the problems that occurred. As a result, your company or organization is exposed to only a 4-hour window of data loss as opposed to a 24-hour window. So something to consider and just some little knowledge about the differences there. Thank you for watching this video. See you in my next tutorial.